Okay guys, I'm up in the Wasatch back. It is snowing, the perfect day to test out the moon bikes. This is a lightweight, small snowmobile sort of looking thing. I got my buddy Matt. Hey guys. Got Jocelyn, Hi. the woman, and my brother and his wife. Yo. And we got <laughs> this guy, he, he's ready to go. He's gonna be our tour guide. So we're just getting all geared up, getting the helmets on. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this like all year. I met these guys a year ago at CES and I'm like, I gotta get on this. He's geared them all up. Let me run you through it then. This is a thumb throttle machine. So you'll push this button here and it'll go. Big thing about controlling it is kind of being confident with keeping a constant speed. It doesn't have to be fast, but keeping it going is gonna help you control the bike. It's leaning to turn so you can turn the handlebars a little bit to get that ski to carve, you know, on those harder turns. But mostly you're just gonna be kind of controlling it with your hips and kind of counter steering a little bit as you go. Okay, you, uh, you ready to rock it? Oh yeah. To shred the nar nar? <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> go back, go buddy, go. And you'll see it looks like I think the hardest part is actually getting going. Like once you get momentum, then you're good. You got this, babe. Yeah. All right, we're in the open field now. We got some powder. It's time to have some fun. Oh man, you got plenty of power for this stuff. This is crazy. Woo! Catch a little bit of air there. I've never been on something like this before. I've done snowmobiling. This is quite a bit different. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to get the hang of it, hitting these bumps, catch a little bit of air. Yeah. Oh man. You're hitting like these just other tracks that the bikes have been through and you can actually catch some air. It is awesome. There's gotta be, oh geez, like two, two and a half foot of powder. And these things are just cruising right through it. Nico, right on. He's gonna run through all the stats and specs. So it's about eight feet long from tip to tail, but it weighs less than 200 pounds at about 190 pounds with the battery in it. Each battery is about 30 pounds. Uh -huh. You can put two batteries in there. So super easy to transport, really easy to put on the back of your truck and a trailer, even on a motorcycle hitch. On average, they'll run about an hour and a half of pure throttle time. So that's thumb on the throttle, you're riding for an hour and a half, the battery will go. Again, you can fit two batteries in there so you can get up to three hours. See, there's always the fear of the cold affecting the, the yeah. charge capacity. So the battery box is heated to make sure that that doesn't happen. You can get into temperatures of negative 15 degrees, stuff like that, so it's pretty comfortable. When you're done riding, it's the end of the day and you know, you, you're getting home, you wanna recharge the battery. You've got this handle here on the battery that makes it really easy to remove. You just unplug this, take the strap off. It's about 30 pounds, like I mentioned. So you just lift it out, bring it inside where it's warm, okay. and the chargers plug right into your, your wall outlet. That charges it in about four and a half hours from zero to 100. Extra batteries are 1,900. 125 foot pounds of torque. You felt today when you were in sport mode. I mean, it's oh, immediate, it just right? It just goes. In the deep powder, like that's, that's, yeah. that's impressive. I mean, I was in two feet of powder. I hit that throttle and sometimes it pops the, yeah. the front of the bike off. I'm like, whoa, Do calm a bit down. of a wheelie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is awesome. So the patented design that we have, which is tough to see now because there's so much snow in there, but there's a hub motor directly in the track. These are the teeth of the hub motor right here. Oh. So there's no chains, there's no belt, so it's immediate torque, right? You push the button, it's pushing that track. We rate the bike at a 40% grade ability. You can do that in a good foot, foot and a half of snow even too. So this is the display here. The blue light that you've got here shows your torque settings. So you've got sport mode, normal mode, and eco mode. Those all will determine how fast you get to the top speed. Which um, is 27, right? 27 miles 27 an hour? 27 miles an hour is our top speed, yeah. Okay. We've got high, medium, low settings. Those are our speed settings. So if you want to hit that top speed, you know, you'll click it into high. Medium will cut it down a few miles per hour and low will do that even more. Okay. You've got a reverse mode here if you need it, which is fantastic if you ever get caught or if the snow, you know, you tip it over, whatever it is yeah. to get it out. It's, it's, it's beautiful for that. And it's just the flick of a switch. Okay. On off button here. You also have the key that's down here to turn it on. So you kind of got multiple ways to turn it on and keep the bike safe. As long as that key is turned, you can even turn the bike off and that battery will still continue to be warm, which oh, is great. Awesome. So you can kind of keep it outside for a little bit if you're deciding where you want to go. The green LEDs here are your battery life. You've got a brake if you really need it, but because this is an electric motor, when you let go of the throttle, there is regenerative braking. Mm -hmm. So it slows down on its own. But what's great about that too, is as long as the motor is turning, but the power isn't on the throttle, it'll actually regenerate a bit of the energy into the battery. The last thing is our light here. So this is a super bright LED that we've got on the front. Might be a little hard to tell in yeah. the flat light, but at night, 
super fun to ride at night. It's it's super bright, it, it illuminates everything in front of you. On the front, it's a modified mountain bike fork, specifically tailored oh, yeah. to us. So it's, it's a pretty simple design, but it's something that's super reliable, you know, something that already works. Yeah. And then the ski is a ski that's actually made in Austria. It's a powder ski that's specifically designed for the moon bike. There's a carbide runner on the bottom that both protects the ski, but also keeps it straight and kind of the harder stuff. What's the trouble on the suspension? I think we've got a good four inches if you really hit it hard enough. And then there's this suspension system. There's two coils in the track. Obviously it's all covered in snow right now. Hard yeah. to get in there. Yeah. We've got two coils that'll give you another two and a half to three inches of suspension back there. Well, and the nice thing too about this is the, he talked about the weight. I have my girlfriend here, she's very tiny and she did tip it over how many, how many times, a few times? Just like five. Five, five times. Three, two, one time. And like you, you like, <laughs> I think I helped you once, yeah. but I saw her, she got off in the deep powder and she was able to like lift this thing up and get it going again. All right, hey, appreciate it. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. It's Thanks been, for coming by. It's been awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, this is, this has been good time. Good time. Good time. <laughs>